My name is Alicia Littlejohn and I am a hot mess crafter. I don't have a big craft room or organized wall of yarn or even know where any of my crochet hooks are. I know you see this wall behind me and you probably think I'm such an organized crocheter, but I'm not. This is all a complete facade. If you can see beyond my camera, I am a mess. You can call me a yarn monster. So if you're anything like myself, like a crafting crochet hot mess, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for this entire video. We're gonna be looking at two products to help you organize and take away stress while you're crocheting. The first one is called the Best Darn Yarn Tenders, and the second is the Hook Tube Set. These were made by actual National Award winner crochet and knitting designer. These were made by Susan Karen. She's been crocheting since the age of 10 years old. She's been featured in magazines and catalogs. All her information is gonna be down below. Make sure you check out her website. She has tons of stuff on it. So for this review, first I'm gonna give you my first impressions and then we're gonna take it down to the table and look at it a little bit more closer. So let me show what these look like. Like I said, my first impression. Um, I received a kit where I, you can um, actually order these as long as you want. If you need like 10 yards, just give her a call and you can get 10 yards of these. But the one I ordered was from her website. It was the pack of 36. You can get whatever colors you want, large or small. The small can fit skeins of four to five ounces and the large can fit skeins up to seven ounces. But if you have a 16 ounce skein of yarn like we do in America. We have lots of big skeins. You can uh, gain your little best darn yarn tenders. I never heard of ganging before, so I had to actually email the maker of these. I'm like, what is ganging? Ganging is actually combining two of these to fit around your skein. So if you actually knew what the term ganging was, please comment down below because it's the first time I actually ever heard of it. So let's look at these a little bit closer. This is the large one. As you can see, let my camera zoom in. These are very soft and smooth. This is the large one and a small one. It's just a little bit different. The texture isn't as smooth, but don't get me wrong. This is still soft. I know it looks crazy, like how in the world can this fit yarn, but it can, it is very stretchy. So all you have to do is grab your yarn and pull it through, but make sure you're gentle. But look at this, it is so soft, it's not gonna rip and tear at your yarn. Let me show you what the hook tubes look like. We're gonna be taking these down to the table, don't worry. So these are the hook tubes. It comes in a set of four. Let's, they are in there like, like nesting eggs. What are they, like the Russian nesting eggs? Those are so cool. So one, two, a little one, three. I guess this would be for like for needles and notions and whatnot. And four, wait, wait, one, two, three. And here's the four, there's so many of them. All right, so you got to see these up close. Are these gonna be long enough to fit on my hooks? Oh, yes, look, I didn't realize. They're adjustable, look at that. So if you think, oh, this is too small to fit a crochet hook. And this is like one of the medium size. This is even the large size one. Here's the large, so if you're a knitter, look at that. All right, so you got to see these in my first impression. So far, I like them. Oh, I did wanna make a comment. I got a pack of 36. Have you guys ever used any other yarn savers or yarn sleeves that aren't like these tenders? You get like a pack of three for $7. I don't know how much it is, but with this, you get as many as you want. Like I said, you can call and order or you can get the pack of 36. I know, Lord knows and my husband knows, I got more than three skeins of yarn. So we're gonna test these out and see if they make my yarn room and my horrible yarn tangles look a little bit better. So let's take this down to the table. We're gonna test these out on different type of yarn and different type of yarn situations. So first I'm gonna start with this little cake of yarn. This yarn right here is about two seconds away from being lost. So I'm kind of glad we have these. So what you do with this one says a smaller, I got the small net. I'm gonna fold it over in half a little bit. Make sure the center pull is right there. Give it a little pull. Oh my goodness, the back is gonna be lost. And pull through. Oh, it's saved. And you have your center pull. Let's test it out on a Caron Simply Soft. I believe the Caron Simply Soft is a seven ounce skein of yarn. 
Oh, that was simple. That went in like butter. And I have my center pull. So next, we're gonna give it a little bit more of a challenge. Yarn vomit. What do you do with yarn vomit? If you ever have a situation like this, I've been in the past, had to cut my yarn and start over. But if you know where your end is, you can create a center pull ball. As you can see, I have my center pull ball and yarn vomit is all safe. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold on to this. Since it's a small skein, I probably can hold on to both at the same time, but make sure your center pull is on the outside so you'll be able to work it through the tender. And remember guys, be gentle. And look at that, it's been saved. It all fits within the sleeve in the tender. All right, while off camera, I tried to do the gang gang. This is one of the super large 16 ounces of yarn. So one was not able to fit, so I fit two on. It was a little bit of a struggle to get on, but once it's on, it's on. I'm probably never gonna take this off until I'm done with all of this yarn. These are absolutely amazing and it will save your yarn and you don't have to be like me, a hot mess crocheter. So now we're gonna look at the very next item. Hot mess crafter right here. This is my actual craft bag where I keep all my crochet hooks so neatly organized. So whenever I need a number five crochet hook, I'm just, ow, actually stuck myself. Oh, that was a great example. So, ow, 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 mm. So guys, let's give these hook tubes a try so you don't get injured like myself. So let's move this bag off to the side. See, this is exactly why you need some of these hook tubes. That was not planned at all. But because of that, I think I'm gonna test it out with the little hook and notion holder. Who would have thought I would have stabbed myself? Jeez Louise. All right, we got these all in there. And look, they fit perfectly. Let's see how many hooks we can get in there. I uh, organized these into my, since I only have four of these, the fives, the fours, and some notions. Those got put in easy. Let's try these out next. As you can see, I have a lot of plastic crochet hooks because I lose them all the time. So hopefully with these, I can probably buy better crochet hooks so I won't lose them. That was pretty easy. Remember, these are adjustable. So if you have bigger hooks, you can put them inside. I like these. If I can have it in my hook, um, my bag, I'll probably label them. There's a picture above where somebody else labeled their knitting hook, well, knitting hooks and knitting needles, and just put them each so you can easily find it and grab them and have all of them right there. I actually love these. These are pretty cool. I'm ready to give you my final review. So we're gonna give two reviews, one for each item. First, we are gonna do the best darn yarn tenders. These, look, I'm sitting on a product. These right here. I absolutely love them and you get so many. You don't have to worry about, oh, I only have three. You get 36 or like I said, or more. Just call and talk to Susan. Susan is actually a pretty great person. I've never seen such great customer service. You can actually call her and talk to her directly if you have any questions. So I've never seen anything like this. And so these, I would like to give this out of five balls of yarn, the best darn yarn tenders. I'm gonna give these five balls of yarn. I definitely recommend that you get these. The next one we're gonna look at, the hook tubes. All right, these are such a simple uh, design. I don't know why nobody else has ever thought of these. Well, I'm sure they have, but I like the way these are like nesting eggs and you can adjust the size so you don't need to get a billion. I do actually recommend if you're anything like me and you have a gazillion crochet hooks, purchase two. But if you're like just a regular crafter, just get one set of these and there will be more than enough, but absolutely love them. So on a scale of one to five balls of yarn, I'm also gonna give these five balls of yarn. Guys, if you wanna try these yourself, all the information will be down below. But I do wanna put this out there. The makers of uh, these products, she is not a big, huge corporation. So please make sure you check out her website. She has wonderful information. She has a pattern library of over 3,000 crochet and knitting patterns all on her website. She's a regular woman just like you and me, so please make sure you check her out. All that information will be down in a link below. 
you are not going to regret this purchase. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this review, make sure you check out my other ones, and I'll see you all on the very next video. Bye, guys.